<clears throat> Fawful guy here. I'm gonna play some Metroid Fusion. Because, well, I like Metroid. Um, I was considering... I was wondering about whether to do this or Super Metroid, but... I really, but, I mean... Eh, I'll do Fusion. Because... I feel like it. Um, so I guess I'll start by, um, let's see. Alrighty. So, I'll, I guess, get into time, how this, as far as the relation, you know, like in timeline crap that goes, this, this is, um, this is the second to last, um, game within the timeline. The last one being uh, Metroid Dread, which by the way, Dread is really freaking good. Um, I just don't have the means to do that right now. I've been, I've been, I've been like doing runs of that. It's been fun. But anyways, um, yeah, that, uh, Fusion takes place, um, takes place sometime after Super Metroid. <clears throat> I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Oh yeah, by the way, in this game, there's gonna be a lot of reading, and this game is pretty linear, and, um... Which is unusual for a Metroid game, but it's I still think it's a pretty dang good game. <laughs> oh boy. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. The Jelly of Death. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. What a name. I mean, I mean, like stuff like uh, COVID-19. I mean, I'd say that's more creative than X, you know, like, because COVID-19 is like, oh, it's Coronavirus 2019, and it's like, okay, you know, that makes sense, you know, or like SARS, um, I forget what star SARS stands for, but, you know, it's that, whereas here it's just X. Although at the same time, I guess it's, it's a pretty, it's a somewhat appropriate name thematically, because you know, no one knows crap about the X at this point. Anyways, unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Ah, the shaky cam! Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness, and my shift drifted into an asteroid belt. Stop falling asleep while dri- Don't sleep while driving. That's the moral of the story here. Don't sleep while driving. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. In other words, she can't remove her suit, basically. She, she can't remove her suit. Well, like, she has to do so willingly. They can't... So, you know, that's pretty neat, I guess. Well... Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed. 
which I'd imagine would hurt quite a lot, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. So they removed the suit, and they're like, well, guess we can't do anything about it. Then someone found a cure. But hey, someone did do a thing about it. They found glowy thing. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. Yeah, in uh, Super, well, in Metroid 2, uh, Samus killed every every freaking Metroid, like ever. Yeah, she killed all every Metroid except for a baby Metroid, but uh, it kind of ended up dying in Super Metroid anyways. So all the Metroids are extinct. But hey, scientists managed to get a vaccine out of it. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Oh. You got. We got rid of the space honey. As for me, one life ended. Yet I survived. Be born as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatching my life twice over. Uh, yeah, the baby Metroid did um, save her life once before. We'll soon be arriving at the. Now, in Met in Metroid Dread, it gives this character um, a robotic, like a robotic voice. We'll soon be arriving at the. Like, I'm not doing that crap the whole freaking game, though. I'm no. I'm just gonna read it kind of normally. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a fa nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Uh, well, and we get to start the friggin' game. Let's hope we don't die a terrible death. I mean, that almost happened already and the game hasn't even started. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your elaine's abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Yeah, that is true. Samus is... All of the upgrades that Samus got in Super Metroid, they're gone. Uh, cause, you know, they had to, because of the surgery. Yeah, that sucks. Now that, now I have to actually, you know, play the game for a decent amount of time. Anyways, stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Now, go to the quarantine bay. And yeah, here's the freaking game. Um... So, 
as far as controls go, it's a lot more snappy than um than uh in the more fluid uh movement of Super Metroid. And Super Metroid Yeah, fluid is a good way to describe it. Um if you played Super Metroid before, um, the controls in this game will take some getting used to because of the fact that the Game Boy Advance has less buttons than the, than the SNES. But I think they did pretty good with what they have. Oh yes, another thing, wall jumping. It is a thing in this game. And, however, they've... They have been extremely, they have been heavily nerfed since um, Super Metroid. You can't, you can't really climb up one wall with wall jumps, um, because you go quite a distance from the wall before you're able to turn back, as you can see. So yeah, they've been nerfed a lot. But uh, anyways, can't go here can't go here either so red doors are off limits ooh there's a thing down here ooh interesting doesn't look like I can do anything here for now still that's good to know Um, guess I'll hit, hit in here. Yeah, I'll be going in nap in navigation rooms quite a lot throughout the game. <clears throat> Anyways, the quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Okay, so something's alive in there. The question is, what is it? Can't open. I can't open the gray doors. Can't go in there. You know, typical Metroid stuff. There's a lot of crap that's blocked off until I get upgrades and crap. Can't go in that gap, so we're heading down and this place looks pretty beaten up. Ah, quarantine bay. Here we are at last. And it's an enemy. Why'd I just jump into the X parasite there? Because why not? Anyways, nothing bad happened. Not immediately apparent, anyways. I mean, that wasn't the case with the first one, though. I mean, Samus almost died because of that one. So hopefully, Samus doesn't get screwed because of what I just did. Anyways, there's nothing. Quarantine Bay is pretty much completely destroyed, and... Yeah. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the, by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. Okay, so touching that X parasite wasn't an awful idea. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. So it's actually a good thing I did that. And neat. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way. So pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. Yeah, so you don't just say so you don't just like get regular regular like health and and you know, health drops and crap from enemies. Instead they quote drop X parasites, and that's what restores your health. Anyways, mm. this station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. 
This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but... You're only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now get going. I have released the lock on level 0 hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Okay, so some of the doors have been unlocked. So now I can go through the gray doors. Is there anything up here? There's these green doors, but of course I can't go through them. Okay then. I'll save later. Um, actually... Eh, I'll save now. I mean, I, I, I seriously doubt I'll die so early in the game. But, you never know. <gasps> A ZOMBIE! Well, that wasn't very exciting. Can't go down there. Oh boy, another Navru. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. I mean, uh, they still aren't good chances, but you know, I'll take what I can get, I guess. Anyways, I'll s let's see what's in here. Oh, neat. I uh, can't get through here. But, um... You know what? We'll take on... We'll deal with the missile crap next time. See ya.